Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignite and today I want to show you how to set up and pair your Roku remote. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that you need to know is what kind of remote that you have. There are basically two kinds of remotes. You have the basic remote here and then you have the voice remotes. All right, so the basic remote here uses IR technology. So it's just point and shoot. And also it appears like it's locked to a specific device. I've failed to pair this remote with any other device because it lacks the pairing button. Okay. Okay. So with the voice remote, you have the best version here. Okay. And then the pro version. So the difference between the best version and the pro version is the inclusion of the headphone jack here. You can see it here, but the best model doesn't have a headphone jack, all right? And then you'll also see some personal shortcut buttons here. These are actually programmable, whereas the best model does not have these programmable buttons here. And then you also realize that the pro version has a rechargeable battery, which you charge via USB, micro USB here. Whereas the, the base model doesn't have a rechargeable battery, it comes with AAA batteries here. So yes, you'll have to keep switching these when they run out. And also the location of the pairing button is just right under the battery compartment on the base model. So this is the pairing button right here. Whereas the pairing button of the Pro model is just outside here. So those are key differences to take note between the base model and the pro version of the Roku voice remotes. So this will come in handy when I'm showing you how to set up the remote. So for my setup, I have the Roku voice remote pro and I'm going to set it up with my Roku streaming stick plus. I've been using the Roku mobile app as a virtual remote control for my Roku streaming stick plus. To pair a new remote, you must have at least an existing Roku remote or the Roku app. All right, so I'm going to press and hold the home button for at least five seconds here. They should be able to open up the setup menu okay and then select remote here all right and then here you can choose what kind of remote that you have based on the placement of the microphone pinhole on your remote alternatively to get to this part here you can just go to settings from home and then come to remotes and then you can select add a new remote here right Okay, so moving on, I'm going to select the first option since I have the Roku Voice Remote Pro. And then here you'll have to press and hold the pairing button on the back of the remote for about five seconds. Now, if you have the Roku Voice Remote Pro, the pairing button is just at the back of the remote, like I've shown you here. But if you have the best version of the Voice Remote, then you'll have to remove the battery compartment to reveal the pairing button. Okay, so press that pairing button for five seconds. Okay, you should see an LED light blinking here. And then a pairing sequence is starting on your Roku screen. Okay, so I can see the battery level is at 82%. And that is because I actually had to fast charge my remote battery before I started using it. So probably that is something I should have mentioned earlier. Just make sure that your remote's batteries are new or they are fully charged in the case of a voice remote pro okay so the pairing process should take a few seconds here and now we are done so here you can activate hands-free voice control if you have the pro version here and you can also do some other advanced configurations here for example you can set up a tv controls that is basically power and volume control of your roku tv so since I'm using my ASOS monitor, I'm just going to skip this part real quick. But otherwise, if you're setting up on a real TV that is not Roku, then this is an additional step that you should go through so that you can turn off your TV or increase and decrease volume using the Roku remote instead of that TV remote. All right. Now, if you are to see the details of your Roku remote, for example, the battery level or the MAC address and other technical details, just go to home here, then come to settings, come to remotes and devices, remotes. You should see a list of all the remotes that are currently set up with your Roku device. Select the one that is set up, and then you should be able to see its details here in the about us section here. 
So you can see my battery level is at 84 percent you can see my mac address the firmware version and also the remotes model so for my case it's the voice remote pro rc795 right the other thing that you can do is to forget this remote and you can just select that and enter an auto generated digit here four digit code and then just restart your roku device and that remote will be forgotten. Alternatively, the way that you can reset your Roku remote is simply press the pairing button for about five seconds. So just do that and that will reset the Roku remote. All right, so that concludes our video on how to properly set up and pair a new Roku remote. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.